Good morning, how are you today? In this video, we are going to be swatching more engram paints. We did the dual tone set last week, which I will link up here for you so you can check those out and watch me battle with the cobalt violet. But I've also had some wonderful colors sent in by viewers. These were sent to me by Tanu, someone who wants to stay anonymous, and also by Jessica Phillips. So thank you to the three of you for sending me these various colors. I am so looking forward to swatching with them. One thing I do need to comment first though is with the Terra Rosa I did, which is here, I did experience a lot of binder split. So I don't know if that is a consistent problem or if it's just me, I seem to get the just me cases of tubes on paints splitting so just be careful with the terra rosa but all the other paints have been fine no binder split and with mgram they have a really nice texture when they come out the tube it's not too hard and it's not too liquid and so you get these lovely little puddles of soft round colors which I just love seeing once they dry and I'm like, I don't want to ruin them, but I am also ecstatic about trying them out. So let's get swatching with them. Today I'm going to be swatching Azo Yellow Aurelian PY151. Gamboge PY151 and PO62 Permanent Alizarin Crimson PR Two six four Maroon Perilene. PR one seven nine Napsol Red PR one one two Quinacridone Rose PV19 Ultramarine Pink PR258 Dioxazine Purple PV23 Ultramarine Violet PB29 and PV15 
Anthroquinone Blue, PB60. Ultramarine Blue, PB29. Thalo Blue, PB15, colon 3. Paints Grey, PBK9 and PB29. Sap Green, PG7 and PY110. Burnt Sienna PBR7 and finally Terra Rosa PR101. That's all the colors painted from M. Graham. We have 16 colors this time. And every time I do use M. Graham, I forget how super uber duper easily rewettable M. Graham paints are. In fact, I wouldn't even say they're rewettable. I, they just stay soft and wet. So whenever I do dip a paintbrush into M. Graham the first time, I'm always like, oh, it's like not set at all and it's, I end up with a whole load of paint on the tip of my brush. But that's how easy to draw wet M. Grahams are and they are nice and bright colours. I was really impressed with the permanent alizarin crimson. It's a really nice deep red. Now with Napsol Red, it's exactly what I was talking about with the Da Vinci's Napsol Red episode, which I will link up here for you guys so you can check out their Napsol Red. Most brands Snapsol Red is this Snapsol Red. It's a slightly orangey red, which is why I was so excited when I found the Da Vinci Snapsol Red because that is a little bit cooler but still red red. However, if you do like the more common version of Snapsol Red, the slightly orangey red, then this is actually a really nice Snapsol Red. It is very, very smooth in how it goes down as well. With the ultramarine pink, it does say ultramarine pink, but it's definitely more of distinctively purpley lilac-y color rather than pink. But I understand why they call this color ultramarine pink rather than ultramarine violet because they have a separate shade that is a lot more purpley color called ultramarine violet deep. But yeah, don't buy this thinking it's a pink colour. It's definitely a more violety colour. However, it is a very nice violety colour with a nice granulation as well. Dioxins in purple, I don't know what happened, but I was a little bit disappointed with the colour payoff of this Dioxins in purple. I'm so used to using brands like Daniel Smith or Core, which gives you like ridiculously strong dioxin purple. If you want to see how ridiculously strong coarse dioxin purple, I will leave a, a card up here for you guys to check out when I swatched this in my core high chroma set. 
ridiculously almost down to navy blue kind of strength so compared to that this is definitely a weaker dioxin purple however if you do find the strong dioxin purple just too much to handle like too strong for your palette then this is a really good option because it's not as strong now i did get confused between the ultramarine blue and ultramarine violet because they're really really similar and i had no idea what was happening for a while which is why i have so many names crossed out i did triple check this is indeed the ultramarine violet and this is indeed the ultramarine blue there's very little difference between the two actually it's just that the ultramarine violet is a little bit stronger blue than the ultramarine blue but i would definitely say that this is more of an ultramarine blue shade rather than what i would expect as a ultramarine violet color so maybe a better name for this would be ultramarine blue deep because it is deeper than the ultramarine and it has the addition of the pv15 if you want to go for a more traditional ultramarine violet color then i recommend the ultramarine violet deep instead however if you want a really strong ultramarine blue color and you don't mind the fact that there's some other pigments added to it then i can highly recommend the ultramarine violet by m Graham because it is really really strong it is up there with the top names my favorite commercially available ultramarine blue is the schmincke's one and it is comparable to that i was really pleased with the thalo blue that they have it is a thalo blue yellow shade or green shade and it went down really smoothly really bright perfect color the sap green they have is the perfect matcha color and as soon as i saw that i was like I want matcha ice cream because that if you if you've never tried matcha ice cream i highly recommend it it's gorgeous so if you are looking for the perfect matcha shade then m Graham's sap green is perfect for you i said earlier that i was concerned about the terra rossa because i had a lot of binder that came out of the tube separate from the pigment i shouldn't have had to worry because i totally forgot how easy m Graham is to re-wet so I had no problem getting a good pigment load onto my brush. So what do I think of the 18 colors I've tried? S there are some, to me, naming issues in terms of buying a color based on their names, which is why we always recommend to do look at their pigment codes as well. One thing I did notice with M. Graham paints as I was swatching these is that they will move through water super fast. So they will be good wet on wet you're gonna have a lot of fun with it you'll notice in the video that the first few colors i did the swatches in three stages of varying water and then i converted to just putting the main color and then some water down below just to show you guys how much this paint moves through water especially like the thalo blue the paints go they all move super fast through water so if you are not a fan of that then don't go for m graham however if you're a fan of that and having a wild time wet on wet then i can highly highly recommend m graham colors because they will move for you i hope you enjoyed watching me swatch these colors thank you to the three wonderful people that have sent me these lovely paints they were so much fun to swatch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know which one was your favorite color in this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.